Hey viewers, there's a patch on its way, if not already out, for Scott Rail Express, Edinburgh, Glasgow. Here are the changes. Class 385 setup changes, updated brake responsiveness, improving air brake performance and making stopping easier. Increased responsiveness of the CBBC, that's just the combined power and brake controller when using hotkeys. Moved contact signal function from to the GSMR phone for consistency with other TSW trains. AI to player and vice versa handover is now working correctly. Train-wide doors can no longer be opened while the AI is driving. Master key is now present after reloading from a save. Master key now has a turning animation. Passenger overcrowding and incorrect orientations have been resolved. Oh, they won't sit on each other anymore. That's sad. External right cab door key is now accessible. All external keys now animate correctly. Added camera view specifically for the TMS. Oh, so you'll be able to zoom straight into the thing and read it properly. That's excellent. That'll be really helpful for console people. Removed cameras from trailers slash passenger head out. Class 385 audio fixes. Running sounds updated. Wind noise occluded. Improved general audio mix. Removed the chime. Updated audio occlusion, fixed traction and braking issues, improved transitions for traction motor notch volumes, implemented inverter related audio effects, updated track joint sounds, improved volumes of running and traction motor sounds. Note, as mentioned, sourcing the base audio will require a recording trip. We're in discussions with ScotRail around organising this, so improvements are using the existing audio. Class 385 Art changes, added caution tape to inside of a guard panel door, updated door button graphics to reflect the proper graphics, added inner axle hubs that connect to axles to the bogey frames, oh the wheels won't float by themselves anymore, updated the first class livery, added Gaelic branding to the pantograph unit, added to pantograph sparks, PlayStation only improved the TMS to now show carriages, Gameplay and infrastructure changes, improved the expected station stop timings for timetable services, added Edinburgh Park to stop to Dunblane services, fixed routing for depot moves to or from Queen Street, fixed signal emissives, added missing neutral section signage, added missing car stop markers to Haymarket, fixed long wait times for red lights to clear on certain services, e.g. service 1R27. Fixed 5R33-1 going into the wrong siding to park up at night. Timetable timing changes so that everything is to the nearest 30 seconds or minute. Route changes. Changed station lighting to be triggered by environmental light brightness rather than at a specific time. Improved darkness of tunnels along the route. Added additional lighting to Edinburgh Waverley and the surrounding area. Updated lighting at Eastfield Depot. Updated lighting at Queen Street Station. Fixed missing sections of overhead line equipment along the route. Updated a station footbridge to add missing underside panelling. Updated sign on Lynn Lithgow Station to be correct. Player can no longer climb through the railing at Haymarket Station. Rain will no longer pass through shelter roofs at Edinburgh Park. Station platforms will now get wet when it's raining. Tweaked ballast cards colours, colours to be more red. Footstep audio improvements. Implemented a one o'clock gun at Edinburgh Castle. You can now properly cycle between cabs using the control and equal minus keys. I think they mean plus and minus keys. But anyway, West Cornwall Local. General scenery tweaks and improvements across the route, including remodeling of Truro Cathedral. Class 37, brakes are automatically set to vac or air as suitable. As ever, please allow 24 hours for these updates to make their way to you before submitting a support ticket. I might just have to stream this beastie and have a look at some of this stuff. Cool things. Anyway, that's been it for the updates to Edinburgh Glasgow. I hope they make you happy and you um, find the game more playable now. Good news. Alrighty, if you've got any questions or feedback, chuck them down below and we will chat. See you later. Thank you.